Our first caller is Julia from San Diego. Hi, Julia. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, good. So what's your question? So in the past probably six months, I ran MAPS Anabolic and MAPS Aesthetic in that order. Uh, loved them, had great results. Really liked the, I really like the three-day program as a teacher. It just works with my schedule. And in that time, I've reversed from 1,600 calories to 2,500 calories. Wow. And I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling good. Yeah, it's been a really good journey for me. And I don't feel done yet. So I want to reverse up to like 2,900, 3,000 calories. Um, so I'm thinking I want to do one more program before I start a cut. So I was thinking about doing performance for the last program in my reverse. But my main question is, what should I do for my cut? I was thinking aesthetic would be a good program to go back to just with all of the supersetting. It had a lot of endurance in it. And I'm just kind of wondering what would be the best program for that, because it'll be my first time doing a cut with a program like this. Great question. First of all, uh, awesome yeah, job. Congratulations with that. Yeah. And I'm glad you said that on the podcast, because oftentimes when we talk about getting your metabolism faster, sometimes we get pushback from people in academia and say, they'll say things like, oh, it doesn't boost that much. But I mean, you went up tremendously. Did you gain lots of body fat in that process? Or were you able to maintain yourself somewhat while getting your calories to go up that high? No, I think I definitely have gained weight, but it like it looks good. It's definitely something I needed to do. It's been uh, all positive, but there's definitely been body fat, but more muscle than anything, I would say. That's excellent. Okay, so if you want to continue to reverse, especially at the amount of calories that you're able to eat now, which is very decent uh, for a female, you might want to go with a program that's more strength, a little bit more strength focused uh, for the reverse. So I would to continue to go up in the calories. So Map Strong might be uh, a, a more effective program specifically for that. And then when you cut, Map's performance would be an excellent mm -hmm. uh, program to cut with because of the athletic component, the mobility component, and the endurance phase at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the endurance phase um, and the focus is on performance, which is something that's good to do when you're cutting because mm -hmm. it keeps your mind uh, focused on how you feel rather than how you look, which is, in, our, in my opinion, always a better uh, approach. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, so, I love that. So, so, so when you, as you're reversing out, as you continue to bump up the calories, map strong, then when you're ready, okay. when you're ready to cut, go to maps performance, and when you cut, you could probably start by dropping uh, below, you know, 300, 400 calories below maintenance. See how that feels. Watch your body fat. Make sure you test your body fat percentage rather than just watching uh, the scale. Uh, okay. uh, one more question, Julia. Where did you notice uh, most of the muscle gains in your body? Oh, honestly, probably my upper body with my arms. I don't think I've ever trained my upper body as much as I have with anabolic and aesthetic. I feel like as a female, we're just, you know, inundated with workout your posterior chain and all of your lower body. So I definitely saw more upper body, but I think that's just because of my past. Okay. And did, did you notice any other changes, uh, energy, sleep, libido, anything that shows that your hormones were in better balance, all that stuff? Yeah, definitely. I think libido, everything has gone way up. My deadlift went up 45 pounds. Like everything has just been so much better since starting MAPS program. So I'm excited to do more of them. Oh, that's awesome. And then do you have MAPS Strong? I didn't even ask you if you had that program. I don't. I don't have Strong. I have Performance though. Okay. Well, you have it now. Doug's going to send that over to you. Thank you so much. No problem. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, I'm so glad that we have someone live talking about oh, yeah. boosting their metabolism because I've had people tell me when we tell stories, they're like, that can't happen. Bro, that's yeah. phenomenal, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we've tried to, to explain that a lot, and it's it's so much better coming from somebody who's actually going through that oh, process. Oh, I mean, how easy is it going to be for her now to get lean? Because yeah. now she'll get lean, and she'll probably still end up yeah. with more calories than she started with. Oh, yeah. Eating a comfortable amount. Oh, yeah. No, she'll be able to lean out in, in low 2000s, yep. which was more than what she had when she started, which is, in my opinion, this is where most people should be. Like, So rarely ever did I get a client who I thought that like that okay that needed to lose 10 20 30 doesn't matter how many pounds they want to lose weight and they came to me and I thought that they their metabolism was in a really good place to start with I always wanted them to 
speed their metabolism up first, which is hard because mentally mm -hmm. you tell somebody who comes in and says, hey, Adam, I want to lose 20, 30 pounds. Right. And you say, hey, I don't want you to lose any weight. Let's, let's build your metabolism. Let's reverse diet for a while first, get you up to 25, 26, 3,000 calories. Then we cut you. And I'm going to cut you on a, on a calorie intake that's higher than where you're currently at right now. Right. And a lot of people don't think about the, the how they're going to stay uh, at a particular uh, you know leanness. They think, yeah. oh, how am I going to get there? Then they forget they got to stay there. And if your metabolism's fast, staying there is a lot easier. And it makes it more enjoyable, right? Like Otherwise, it just feels like you're, you're depriving yourself and you're struggling through your workouts being you know on a low cut like that. Totally. Now, real quick, because some people might not know what a reverse diet is or how that works. So, so in a nutshell, and we've done topics, single topic episodes on this. So you could actually look this up on our Mind Pump Media app where you can look up episodes. But in a nutshell, essentially what you're doing is you're focusing on building muscle and strength and you're slowly increasing your calories. So it's usually 100 calories more a day for a week or two. You know, wait till your body settles and then repeat that process. It's a slow process, but it's very effective at boosting your metabolism.